and welcome back to LSPDFR. I am Polcat, and this is going to be a fun episode in a new texture pack. This is not one that I created, but that is available on LSPDFR. And, uh, like, it's just a simple pack. I actually, I saw this one, I was like, this is awesome. This is simple, this is awesome, and it's on every vehicle. So why not like it? So let's go ahead and get it started. We got a wanted person coming up in, uh, what looks to be the GWC Golf Club area. Uh, not too far from our location. I'm just gonna go ahead and see. He might turn right. And actually looks like he's turning left. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on the street. Now this is different. I don't usually, uh, patrol in the rain. So this is definitely gonna be a little bit something different. It's not technically full board raining. It's just kind of, um, I guess you could say, uh, under GTA terms, it's called clearing. But this, it's gonna consecutively stay like this because I have the, <laughs> I have it frozen. Um, but let's go ahead and see if we can get caught up with this guy. He doesn't seem like he's too far uh, away from us. Couple blocks. Actually, looks like he's driving faster and faster. I'm gonna go ahead and code two uh, to try to get caught get caught up with him. Wow! Get your shit together. Definitely different doing it in weather that I'm not used to um, being in, which is rain. I never really do it much. But we're, this is kind of a representation of what the hell is going on in California. We get like patches of rain right now. And then it will clear up and, and rain, and it's retarded. There is no sense to it. The Rapid GT, it's going to be silver in color. All these cars keep <laughs> cutting me off. This car is very slow at the get-go. Like, very slow. Like, I can't even catch up with them slow. Holy shit. All right, uh, 124. Oh, he just ran that stop sign. We're going to go ahead and light him up for the um, stop sign violation right there. Go ahead and get behind him and flag him down. All right, 124, um, picture perfect drive and cocking end drive. <laughs> cocking end drive, seems legit. Stopped here with the Super GT silver and color, occupy one time. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, correction, occupy two times. Let's go ahead and make contact with the driver and see what's going on at this time. This is possibly wanted. Um, definitely not the best area to be conducting a traffic stop like this. Why do I have no weapons? Why can't I pull any guns? Let me just Alfredo, just in case. Um, Alright, sir, let me go ahead and get your identification, please. Uh, I stopped today because you rolled past the stop sign back there. Go ahead and sit tight for me, Edwin. Okay, I do have a gun, but for some reason... Okay, there we go. My button was not working. Ladies and gentlemen, it was not working. I was like, I cannot access my weapon. Oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and see what's going on with this driver, see if he has any priors or convictions or, uh, wants or anything like that from any local law enforcement. And it actually does look like the suspect has- has an active warrant. I think this is initially why we tried to get caught up with this guy in the first place. Uh, cause it was a wanted driver. Um, and luckily we were able to get him. So, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna see what's going on with the vehicle really quick. Uh, everything's valid on the vehicle. That's the least of this guy's worries though, is, um is the vehicle. He is uh, kind of in a lot of trouble for the want that he has out for him, so let's go ahead and get him out of the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and go up with the pistol just in case. Alright sir, do me a favor and um, step out of the vehicle. I just, I'm gonna place you. Why are you out? Shots fired! Holy shit! Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! Shots fired. Shots fuck. Shots fuck! She's right here, she's right here on the other side of the wall. Oh! Get back! Oh, dead! Oh no, I knew it! Oh no! See, that is why I attempted to shoot him because in the end, ladies and gentlemen, you go, why would you pull a gun on a guy that only had a crowbar? Because that shit can kill you! One fucking hit with the- what the fuck is the double shit going on? One hit with the end of a crowbar like that and you are donezo! And look what we had there. We are donezo. So unfortunately, that- that guy got away. That that team of people, the murderers, the female and the male, unfortunately got away on that one. Looks like my car actually is at the police station there, but they might have towed it. I don't know what happened. Anyways, we're code 4, 10 8, available for calls. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 24, citizens report, solicitation, and strawberry. We're never getting dispatched to solicitation in Strawberry, so we're gonna go ahead and get in route to, uh, that area. <clears throat> attempt to see if we can locate anyone soliciting at this time. I believe we're gonna have to do some type of, uh, investigation or something, so I'm gonna go ahead and get Code 3 since this might take a little more time than usual, uh, uh than normal calls, I guess you would say. We'll just go Code 3 over there once we get kind of in the area. 
we'll go ahead and downgrade. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and downgrade our sirens, probably just go two through some of, some of these intersections, but I believe the solicitation is, um, kind of like a radius. Like, as you can see, if you look on the map over there, it's gonna be the gray, um, little circle here. So, oh, I got an eye on the female. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and double park right here. It's some sketchy-ass shit, but I want to stay in the area, but also try to keep an eye on her. Uh, try to keep myself as hidden as possible. I am in a black and white, so it's gonna be kind of a, I guess, a little out there. I would like a better location, though. There is one across the street on the right-hand side. I'm not sure if that female right there with the black top is the, uh, solicitor or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change positions. I'm gonna change positions. I swear to God, strokes are so inevitable. I'm gonna flip around here, and then we'll be able to kind of keep an eye on, uh, what's going on a little better. I don't see anyone... I'm not seeing anyone or anything suspicious uh, at this time, nor do I see anyone that might look like they're soliciting. Um, well, actually, I actually might. On the left side of the curb over there, I think I see a female standing in a pro provocative way. Uh, oh man, I just fucking hit my leg again, and that was a- they just collided right there, that's gonna be a road rage incident. I definitely see the, uh, suspect that we might have in question, so I'm actually gonna go and change posi <laughs> positions again, because fuck it, you know. I think we're a little too far away, to be honest. There we go. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try to point her out to you guys. Um, go ahead and see. Get out of my way, lady. Oh, there it is. Right behind that sign, see the dump truck, the front of the dump truck? Boom, right there. And she's standing right there. I'm not sure if she's gonna get contacted by anyone, but we'll go ahead. I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes, um, and we'll see if we have anyone, uh, that bites. Well, after sitting here for a legit few minutes, uh, looks like no one on this road came to pick the female up or anything, but we're gonna go ahead and shoo her, because she has been standing there. Uh, practically just standing in front of a port area. Oh, we got to Okay, shit. Points uh, off. Ah, oh, fucking! I scared. Her. Okay, so the whole time I'm waiting there, I should have quote unquote got closer. Um, but technically, since I was observing her, um, uh, just standing there, basically loitering, we're gonna go ahead and turn around. I'm gonna make contact with the female. And we're gonna go ahead and just get an identification check because of, uh... The loitering that she she was doing. Go ahead and stop for me. Stop and give me some identification. Now, you're not gonna get in trouble for the soliciting. Because we clearly know what you were doing. But I am gonna get some identification. Because you were standing in front of, uh, loading bays. Right there that I guarantee have, uh... They don't want you there in the first place. And two, you shouldn't be there. So sit tight, don't move. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and run her in our system. Nellie Myers. Okay, it's gonna be a Nellie... ...Myers. We're gonna see what's going on with the female's name, see if she has any wants warrants. At this time, she is clear. Um, we have no vehicle to search, so... I just wanted to get her name and record, since we obviously did catch her. We know what she was doing, this isn't some, uh... You know, we knew what she was doing, it's as simple as that. So, I'm not gonna go ahead and give you a ticket, because there's nothing to ticket you for, nor, you, nor are you gonna get arrested for solicitation, but I, I was watching you, I was sitting there watching you, waiting for someone to pick you up, but unfortunately... I didn't know how the script worked, and I didn't know I was supposed to get closer, so you're lucky. Or else you would definitely be going to jail. So you're gonna get a warning, go ahead and get out of here, though. Do not come back to this spot, or you'll be arrested for solicitation next time. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Unfortunately, I was, um, <laughs> unaware of how close you were supposed to get with that, but we're gonna go ahead and be code 4108 off the solicitation call. We're getting dispatched to a robbery in progress located in Little Seoul uh, at a gas station. I'm going to go ahead and get their code 3, even though I just rode the shit out of that curb. Right now, the suspects might still be on premises, or they might have just left. I'm not sure. The call hung up with the clerk uh, just after they said there was a robbery. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to get there and see what's going on. Also, another bearer of bad news is this is taking place right next to ammunition. And, I'm sorry. And, um, I'm not sure if they've held up the ammunition at all and they've got guns, so we're definitely gonna have to be attentive here. Make sure we stay a little vigilant on what's going on. 
before we get on scene, I'm going to go ahead and equip the pistol that I like. I unfortunately, I like a, or not for, unfortunately, fortunately, there's two pistols. I like the pistol, not the whatever, the combat pistol. Alright, I am on scene. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, we got one in the store. Uh, dispatch, we got one in the store right now. I'm going to go ahead and back up. Because he screamed, uh, I think he screamed, don't come any closer. I wasn't sure what was going on. Let me go ahead. This is a, this is the worst fucking, I have no fucking backup at all. I don't want to call any backup in right now. Looks like he's got a pistol pointed at the clerk at this time. It's going to be one clerk behind the counter. Uh, vehicle is going to be in a code 3 stance in front of the store, so he knows I'm here. I don't know what we're going to do. He said if I come any closer, he's going to kill her. I don't want that to happen, but I don't think I can shoot through that glass. I can definitely try, uh, but we're going to kind of be in a situation where we might have one that goes down because of it. Oh, that's awesome. Holy shit. That thing is dotted and ready to go. Okay, uh, we might have to take the shot. I think it, it, it'll be worth it if we take the shot. I don't want to get too close, though, because he will shoot her. We've had many instances where we've had people get shot because of this. Alright, well, we're going to have to take it. This is actually going to be our best position right here. Shots, shots fired. Suspect might be down. Going in for a reload. Don't shoot. Drop the fucking gun. Do you hear me? All right, we got clerk still up. Clerk is still up. We got suspect. Uh... Oh, we got two suspects. Two. So oh my fucking god. Put the gun on the ground. I don't know if the secondary has a weapon still. He does. He does. Okay, who should I be more concerned about? I'm gonna call in units. Assistance needed. Show me your hands! Show me your fucking hands! They're in the store. S suspects are in the store. We got two clerks. Alright, we got units coming in. You better put... Shots fired. Hands! Show me your fucking hands, guys. Shoot! Oh my god, the cop car just did the big... Shoot the fucking guy! Oh! God damn it. Oh, man. Shots fired. I believe we have two down at this time. We still got to clear the store, so we're going to go ahead and head in there. All right, I'm going in. Damn. I did not know there was two, um, two suspects. That is, that's fucking crazy. I did not know there was two suspects. One had an automatic, uh, the other one had a, uh, Semi-automatic, uh, pistol. That was intense. Holy shit. Did this- Oh, I thought this had a back door. I was about to say, oops, my bad. Um, alright guys, you guys can put your hand- Oh, shit's going down outside. Uh, all units, you can clear this call. Return to patrol. It okay, looks like scene is code 4 outside, too. Wow, I am not sure what that was about, but two robbery suspects. Looks like they tried to even make their way back outside. Unfortunately for them, it did not work the way they planned. Oh, that's a backup. That's cool. All right, well, this is going to be code four. I'm going to call in corner. We were able to do that, though. I, I made it so... Oh, God. You just drove right into the wall. I made it so that way the clerks actually lived. I've never done that before. Can you not fuck the scene up? Fuck it. You know what? He's going to hit me or he's going to kill someone else. So I'm just going to get out of here. We'll be 10-8 available for calls. We just pulled up here, and this guy is revving his engine. Not really sure. I'm not sure if it's a female. Actually, it's going to be a female revving her, her engine. I don't even think she really notices that I'm next to her right now. But we're going to go ahead and have a chat with her. Looks like it's actually a green light and she's stalling out on the, uh, on the go. I'm not sure if she was waiting for me, the classic. I'm going to let the cop go first. But we're going to go ahead and have a chat with her and see what's going on. Oh, I'm not sure. That female, uh, she looked drunk, but I believe she's not. Ma'am, pull to the side of the road. Holy shit. You've just done some crazy ass shit. Pull to the side of the road. Alright, we're gonna have to get her more to the side, because this is... She's acting drunk as shit right now. Alright, good enough for me. Just keep it still. Alright, dispatch. We're gonna be Interstate 4, eastbound. 
Uh, with, um, we'll just get a blista. Actually, it's gonna be a black blista occupied by a female, possibly intoxicated at this time. I'm not exactly sure. She's, she's exhibiting stuff that, I don't know, maybe even drugs, like not alcohol, just drugs. I don't know. Alright, go ahead and give me your, uh, where's your driver's license? Driver's license. Ask for identifications. Identifications. Give me all your fucking identifications. <laughs> there it is. I'm really thirsty. I think that's why I'm getting so many, like, lisp lisps right now and all this stuff. All right, sit tight for me, Katie. I don't know what's going on. It's it's a real... It's it's that... It's that we were... No, what I know what's going on is we were recording for three fucking hours, uh, Code Zero Cops. <laughs> so that's probably why I'm just fucking... My mind is shot right now. But let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on with Katie. Surprised I even able to remember her name. I sound like I'm drunk, probably. I jam, 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 jam. Fuck, I surprise myself sometimes. Um, looks like it's going to be clear. No active warrants, two stops, two citations. Um, yeah, everything looks good. Let's just do a vehicle check really quick on a 66 Queen Ida X-Ray 310. Make sure she doesn't have any hit and runs or anything on the vehicle. Uh, she does have insurance, so everything's good. Registration checks out, everything's fine. Perfect. That's all we were looking for. Um, except for the fact that, um... The way, what she was doing before. I don't really remember. Oh yeah, I know what she was doing before. Revving her engine. Yes, we'll give you a fuck. We're just gonna go ahead and give you a warning for that. Because if I gave you anything more, especially if everything checked out. I, I, I'll be honest, I forgot what the fuck I pulled over for in the first place. But I remembered. So that's all that matters. So we're gonna issue a warning. No revving your engine, because obviously you stalled or you were... Okay, bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You gotta love it. There's not... You can only ask for so much of this game. I mean, it's it's as simple as that. Um, dispatch, we're gonna go ahead and be code 4, 10 developer for calls. Right now, we're getting dispatched to a person with a knife. Uh, we're gonna try to find this suspect and see if we can arrest them. Suspect is female. Um, definitely not that female. Oh, how you doing, ma'am? Probably gonna be you. We're gonna go ahead and flip around. Dispatch, we're gonna be Alta Street. I'm gonna be actually with the female right now. Uh, we're actually gonna be right under state. <laughs> right under- See, I'm just- I'm smashing words together. We're gonna be right under interstate, um, 4. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make contact with her. We have, uh, possible 148. You better uh, stop, stop, Alter stop. Street. You better not do anything with that knife, you're gonna get shot. Get on the ground. Oh, uh, I don't think you're a pushover, you better drop head the head knife head. right now. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it! <laughs> One, uh, dispatch, we got shots fired on the suspect, one down. Uh, units to this location. Even though it's code 4 in their books, I still want units. And we're gonna need medical to be on standby right now. Alright, units are rolling up right now. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, clear the way- oh god, damn, you got hit by- oh, and you're gonna get shot. And... dead. Alright. <laughs> you gotta love it, guys. You got to fucking love it. Fucking LSPD cops up in this bitch. Um, alright. I have the weapon secure at this time. Let's go ahead and, um, I'm gonna call medical and see if we can get this female, uh, resurrected from the dead. And brought into custody over her actions of trying to stab me. But she got shot dead in the first place. All right, medical. Let's get these guys resur- or not these guys, but this female resurrected, so I can bring them into custody. That's what I really want right now. <laughs> Just to take a female that I shot six times into custody. <laughs> uh, you're probably not gonna be able to save her. I can tell you that. She she took a lot of bullets. He was a trooper though. He went at me with a knife. I could have get. I could have. I could have get stabbed. I could have get stabbed. You hear me? All right. Unfortunately, she's gonna be at 144. So let's go ahead and call coroner service in. I'm sick of the tongue twisters that I'm having today. So we're gonna call it for this patrol. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit the like button, and we'll see you next episode.